Well, definitely going to make it home for my daughter's graduation. That's good news. Got another load booked. We delivered uh, uh, in Loveland today, picked up again in Glenrock. Now we're up in South Dakota. Fog driving to show you. Baby Bison and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. That's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, here I am back in Glen Rock, Wyoming. It is uh, Monday the 8th of May. Uh, picking up here again at uh, Black Hills Lignite. Yeah, picked up here just over a month ago. Uh, and that's just before I had that, I had I spent all the money on the repairs and new tires and everything and then picked up here and then I broke down uh, near Orange, uh, well between Orange Junction and Lusk, Wyoming. Had to get towed and all that mess, yada yada yada. Hopefully we won't run into any of that today. Nice weather today, wasn't too windy getting up here, so that's good. And uh, you say, what's that lignite? Well there it is, there's the big bags of it. That's what I'm picking up. So you can see it says lignite. It is known as the Black Coal. Bringing this to the same place I did uh, before in Rothschild, Wyoming, or Rothschild, Wisconsin. And uh, so, nice to have this load again. And then I've got to find, still got to find a load from, that'll deliver Wednesday morning. Uh, yes, Rusty is down here, he's wanting attention. Still got to find a load um, going from Wisconsin to get me back to the house by Friday night so I can go to my daughter's graduation. I think in my last video, I know I said or that one or the one before, I, I said University of Arizona, I meant University of Wyoming. I had gone to the University of Arizona for a while, that's probably why I said that. Anyway, so here we are, and uh, we're getting loaded, and uh, then we're gonna head towards Wisconsin. Right, Rusty? Yeah. So our uh, delivery in Loveland this morning at the Sam's Club Walmart Distribution Center went pretty well. And uh, good news is, in one week from today, we'll have 90 days with L on wheels uh, for well, his MC. So uh, I'll have about two and a half months with him. But that means a lot more brokers open up. And we've been trying to get an inspection. I think I said in the last video where I looped around uh, in Butte, Montana, the other direction to the scale to try to get an inspection. And of course they, they rolled me across. Uh, Elliot got one on Saturday. So we should be good to go. That'll even open up even more brokers. So hopefully it can start making a little bit better money. What do you think? All right, so we got loaded <clears throat> there in uh, Glen Rock. All went well. Uh, they gave me the, their version of the scale ticket, you know, because they have this, they have old, this old rickety woody scale thing. It's like somebody built it, you know, with toothpicks back in the 1800s or something. But anyway, then uh, coming through Lusk on Highway 18, uh, Lusk has this tiny little Wyoming port of entry way station thing. Feeds both east and west. And uh, every other time I've been by that one, it's always been closed. So uh, this one was open today. So I thought I had to come in from my side, which is not what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> so I come across the scale and I realized the light to tell me whether to go or not on each axle was you know, behind me. The guy comes out, he says, well, it would have been worked better if you gone the other way. I'm like, well, yeah, I realize that now. Uh, and I said, well, I just got loaded in Glen Rock. And uh, oh, so you just got loaded? Well, we'll go ahead and weigh you. I'm like, all right. So he gets on the speaker, tells me which axles to do, blah, blah, blah. And then said, all right, you're good to go. Well, then I wanted to see how accurate the scale was from the place. So I went around and parked, went back in and said, hey, you know, here's what they gave me. I want to see how close it is. Do you mind giving me your scale ticket? Uh, and they and they did not. Uh -huh, see my little trick. Because then that way I don't have to pay for a scale ticket ticket later on a cat scale for $13.50. So see, not just a hat rack, my friend. Yep, so uh, anyway, and actually it was pretty close. So yeah, I'm all legal. I'm a little over on the drives, uh, 34,380, but I have the APU, which gives me the APU exemption, so I'm okay. So uh, at the scale there, then I reset my uh, odometer timer thing, trip B on my Garmin. So I'll know then when I need to add fuel, how much I can put on. I gotta play the fuel game with this one. A little heavy, but this load is worth it. <clears throat> load coming out of Wyoming Payne, a buck 90-ish a mile. Can't complain. So, not a bad deal there. Now we're heading up this little highway, what is it, 1671, something like that, up towards Rapid City. 
where I will probably stop for the night. <clears throat> um, I had to stop at the uh, rest area, the highway, uh, the junction of Highway 85 and 18 in Wyoming, and uh, go to the bathroom. I I had gotten some Taco John's breakfast burritos early this morning when I was going through Cheyenne. Sometimes those kind of go off on me, and it did. So I had to stop there and do that. But then when I came back out, I was looking at the load board again. I've been looking all day. And all of a sudden, a good load coming back out of Wisconsin to get me back to uh, Wyoming, well, towards Wyoming, for my daughter's graduation, popped up. So I called on that. We were able to wrap that up. So I got that all set, and that one's paying $250 a mile. It's paying $2,500 for 980 miles, something like that. Even if you include all the deadhead, it's uh, still like $210 a mile. So, can't complain about that. Rest area I stopped at, at Highway 18 and, uh, and 85 there in Wyoming. Uh, I'd been at that one before, I just don't remember this about it. Um, the, the toilets in there, in the, in the stalls, it, it's, a, it's like a giant outhouse is what it is. It's not, um, you know, they have water in the sinks, but they don't have water in the toilets. It's just, you know, like, you know, you open the lid and uh, there's the, the cavern below full of uh, surprises. And um, the thing about when they have one of these kind of set up like that is they have to be vented from the outside, you know, into the kind of chasm below. Uh, problem is it's Wyoming where it's always windy. So I lift up the lid, uh, pull the shorts down, drop down, and uh, yeah, there's a nor'easter shooting at my butt. Hello! Uh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that kind of hard when you're trying to sit there and uh, pound one out and do your business and you got a nor'easter blowing up your butt. All right, but anyway, yeah, so we got that other load booked all as well, so that's good. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video in a few days because I, I was on that wine one and uh, then delivered that. I had to help deliver because uh, it was just an old guy who owns the winery and his daughter on the forklift, so I had to help bring everything to the edge of the trailer. Anyway, picked up my next load. Uh, which was pet supplies that I got in Fort Dodge, Iowa. Uh, then uh, stayed at a little gas and sip in Rockwell City. Oh, and after I left that little gas and sip in uh, Rockwell City, Iowa, uh, it was called Sparky's, by the way. Just makes me think of vacation. Sparky, isn't that what Beverly D'Angelo always called Chevy Chase's character? Anyway, uh, yeah, then it was two and a half hours of solid fog all the way until Omaha sucked in. I mean, it was thick. Look at this. It doesn't look as bad in the video as it really did while driving. I could barely see the lines on the road. It was kind of hairy. Hello. So left uh, at like midnight Sunday morning and drove all through the night, made it all the way to Johnstown, uh, Colorado to the Petro there. Got a shower yesterday, so that was good. And then delivered, of course, this morning in Loveland. Uh, and I can show you the route. All right, so if you remember, yeah, we started in Dubuque, Iowa, where I delivered the wine, came back across Highway 20, that's where I picked up there in Fort Dodge, and that's that little Sinclair gas and sip, uh, Sparky's I stayed at. Uh, then, yeah, early Sunday morning when we drove on down, lots of fog, I uh, went through uh, Omaha, across I-80, down 76 into Colorado, and right there to Johnstown, Colorado, where I stayed at the Petro, I can get it to zoom in on there, right? Yep. Uh, so we stayed there, and it was just six miles away up there to the uh, Loveland uh, Walmart distribution center. But they had the furniture road closed down in both directions. So you had to go out this way and back around, yada, yada, just to get there. It was ridiculous. Delivered. Then we went up uh, through Cheyenne. That's where I got my Taco Jones. And, uh, yep, up on up to Glen Rock, up I-25. Glen Rock, Wyoming right there. <clears throat> That's where we got loaded up, where the video started. All right, so after getting loaded in Glen Rock today, then uh, back across I-25, Highway 18 over to Lusk. Then we went up there, and uh, then we passed where the rest area was. Then 85 continues north, 18 goes across to Hot Springs. I stopped at the TA Express. There's where we're at right now at the Common Sense in Rapid City, South Dakota. All right, so there we are. And then we're just gonna head off there on 90, and unlike the last trip when we were heading to Iowa, we go 90 all the way across before I drop down at Sioux Falls down there to Highway 20. We just keep going on 90. Then we're going to take that highway, and I can't remember what it is. It's a smaller one. There we are, 60. 
that brings us up through the Mankato and through the Twin Cities where we catch 94 to get us eastbound into uh, Wisconsin. Here's the quick strip trip I'll stay at tomorrow night and then right there south of Wausau is where we deliver. Then I-39 straight down and that takes us down to Clinton, Wisconsin. You see right above the Illinois border where we'll pick up and that's the load that gets me home. What do you think? It's a nursery stuff, more trees and shrubs and all that, but that's paying good this time of year. That's why I was able to get a good rate on it. Delivering to three locations in the Denver area on Friday, so that'll put me home, so all will be well. While we were in uh, Johnstown, uh, or actually in right after we got parked here, <clears throat> I was listening to this comedian do this bit about the difference between cats and dogs, and how someone breaks into your cat house, the cat's gonna be like, yeah, just go ahead, I'll be over here. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, dogs will uh, definitely alert you. <clears throat> Rusty, <clears throat> excuse me, always does. He's right here. And of course, if anybody, and right after we got parked, somebody walking across the lot, and of course a dog will alert you, they'll let you know. So he's out there going, clutch, 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 clutch. There's a guy, there's a guy. So, but he's doing his job, right? Right, Rusty? Doing your job. Good little dog. And also, got to show you this real quick, because of course driving uh, in... You know Wyoming and South Dakota area where we do have bison and by the way it's not buffalo there are no buffalo in the United States they're in Asia we have bison here and as I was driving there's some little baby bisons out there eating the grass look at this well, thanks for tuning in for that one. We appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and do the opening now that I got Rusty up here, and, uh, or the opening and closing part, so he won't have to do that later. So he'll go ahead and get his begging strips now. Right, Rusty? Did you hear that? I said begging strips. Ah. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Clutch Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on Twitter. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Well, Mr. Fletcher, I guess you just want to make this uh, go the hard way. So let's go ahead and go on down to the station. What's the charge? Pissing me off. All right, here it is down. No, come on down here. We always start down here. Rusty, it's down here. Come on. There we go. All right. Yep. All over it. Doing the bag and strip dog a thing. Yeah, somebody had put in the comments the other day that uh, they must have watched uh, the hundred, Rusty eat hundreds of begging strips, and I responded, yeah, maybe even thousands at this point. Since this is how we always end the videos, with Rusty getting his treat. Oh, are you done yet? Oh, here, oh, there's a piece down there, but yeah, go ahead and grab that. There you go. Oh, yes, munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Happy dog. Happy doggy. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're getting this loaded now, Rusty. Be on our way soon. Did you get all the crumbs? I see another crumb down there. A couple of them. I see, like, right here. Look. Right here. Right here, Rusty. I'm pointing at it. Right there. There's another little one right here. All right. 